Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here for Deborah Cobalt Live. I have an adorable, smart, and talented young lady uh, calling us from Texas, uh, Chloe Perrin. Chloe, thanks so much for being here with us. Hi, thank you for inviting me on the show. Oh, what a lovely little voice. I'm just I'm just so taken with you. So your film just opened in theaters this past weekend. Um, it's called Mary and with Gary Oldman. It's a um, sort of a horror movie, isn't it? A little bit of a scary film. Uh, yes, it is in the horror thriller genre. And when I was on the set of Mary... I was super excited because I never was able to have the opportunity to work with such a big actor before. And I was pleased to meet Gary Oldman. And the experience was so humbling. And he turned out to be really nice. Well, how could anyone not be nice to you, Chloe? You are a darling person. You're very sweet. You just turned 12 years old. You're talented and you're a young lady but you sort of have the wisdom of an older person, you know, but you're, you're just lovely and you're incredibly talented. So um, you also, you. in your career, when you were much younger, I think you were five years old, you played Haley in The Diabolical, right? That was also a horror film. I mean, do they scare you when you're, you know, doing these films or no? Or are they just kind of fun? Um, well, whenever I do a horror movie, I just tell myself that it's all special effects and makeup and it's and I shouldn't be scared of that yeah which it is I mean when you're on the set it's totally different than when they put it all together and you go to the movies but um wow so you grew up acting right because your parents your mom and dad they they taught acting your mom still teaches acting can you tell us about that you grew up around it yes um my parents my dad was actually the first acting coach in the family mm. and me from a young age he wanted me to get into the acting business so he took me to one of my very first auditions for ella and an american heart association industrial and i was able to book it and he was so happy for me and he took me on set and he just my career just took off from there wow so dad really sort of saw the talent in you and sort of got you your first opportunity, or you got it yourself, but he brought you to that event for your first opportunity. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. And your sister, you have an older sister. She's an actor too, isn't she? Yes, I have an older sister named Camille Perrin, and she is also an actress. Mm-hmm. Do you ever, have you ever done anything together, you and your sister Camille? Um, no, we've never actually been in anything together but and but in upcoming but in upcoming web series we will be in starring roles together oh can you tell us a little more about it is there a title to the web series or what's it about the web series is called charlie tries Charlie is a little girl who gets into a lot of trouble. Okay, hang on. Trying to do challenges and dares. Is that you? Her, Would that be you, yes. Chloe? I knew it. Somehow I just knew <laughs> that you were Charlie. You just sound like you'd be Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> and and my sister plays a role alongside me, which is Charlie's bigger sister, who is who is the nerd of the family and who is very serious and basically doesn't like all the trouble that Charlie's getting into. Sounds like a typical family, huh? There's always one rambunctious one and then one who's just trying to settle everything down. I love that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> so in your young life, because again, you just turned 12 years old, you you start up some opposites, some pretty big guys and women um, in Itsy Bitsy, cur currently available on video and on demand. You worked with Bruce Davidson, right? I mean, how do you handle going on set with such incredibly professional and um, legendary actors? Well, I was actually really excited to learn that I'd be on set with so many great actors. Um, I had, I really had nothing to prepare myself for it, and I just met them from the f first day on set. I just told myself that they were just a normal per they were mm -hmm. just a person like me, and I shouldn't be over overwhelmed by that. You know, 
Is this something you've always wanted to do since you were a little kid? Because you do need a certain mindset, which you seem to have, that you enjoy it. You actually seem to go on set and enjoy every moment, don't you? Yes. I've always loved being on the set. Yeah. Is it fun? I mean, like, you know, do they treat you like an adult or do they treat you like a kid? I'm always curious what it's like to be in, you know, a kid's body, to be on the set around a bunch of adults all day. What's it like? Uh, well... Well, I have intelligent conversations with the with the other adults, so I guess they that they treat me like an adult. Mm -hmm. Well, you so are sort of a <laughs> you are. I mean, look, you've um, you're a smart kid. I mean, did, did I read that you play chess? Am I right about that? Uh yes, I do play chess, and I was actually on a I was actually in a chess club for a couple of months. Mm hmm. So what else do you do when you're not working? Because look, you're a student. What grade are you in? I am in I am in eighth grade, but I am sixth grade age. So I skipped two grades, and as though that's not I, enough. Does this surprise anybody here in the studio that she skips two grades? She's supposed to be in six. She's in eighth. I mean, you might as well just be in twelve. You're you're such a bright young lady. Wow. Um, are you homeschooled or you go to school? Yes, I am homeschooled. I do homeschool because it's easier for me as an actor to be able to travel on the sets when I need to without having to skip a day of school. Wow. But yet you're two years ahead. That's pretty incredible. So when you're not working, what else do you like to do? I know that you like to, do you still like to jump around on the trampoline? You're a swimmer. What else do you like to do? I also love reading. You do. My you love favorite, to read. My favorite series would probably be the warrior cat series and i really and i actually really enjoy reading the dawn of the clans and i'm i'm currently on the book uh i forgot what it's called but i think it's called uh thunder rising wow what's that about and what level is thunder rising it's just like it's a pretty advanced read isn't it honestly um uh, Thunder Rising, I'd say, is for ages 10 and up mm -hmm. because because it's a series for uh, kids to enjoy and adults to like. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. So, you know, you love to read, you love to write, you sing, you play chess, you swim. Your sister, who you're going to be acting with soon in a web series, is your best friend. Um, and your mom is one of your acting coaches. You know, sadly, I know that you lost dad. Um, two years ago, and I'm sorry about that. But I think you're carrying on in his honor, Chloe, don't you? Yes, I try to stay positive. I try to stay positive, and I try to remember him in a good light for what he's done for all of us. Oh, he's, he's because he's here, and he's watching you, and he's watching you flourish, you know, all because of the talent that he saw that you, that you have. It's incredible. So tell us, um, what are you working on next? Tell me what's next for you, because it's a pretty big film, Mary, that opened this past weekend. Um, tell me what's, what you're going to be doing next. Well, next, like I said, I do have a web series that's coming oh, up Oh, so that's soon. one of your next projects. Okay. And I also have more auditions. Do so you, more projects are soon to come. For a kid um, who's living in Texas, do you generally send in your auditions, you know, on, on uh, you know, send it to them? Or do you fly out here to L.A.? How does that work? It works both ways. So normally if they want me to come out for to audition, I will do that, and I can also send my tapes from my home because my mom puts me on tape for them. Right. I mean, and she's a professional. She knows what to do, which is really amazing. Yeah. Um, any, any advice that you have for kids um, who want to get into acting? What should they do first? I'd recommend first. I'd recommend that they ask their parents first. Oh. That they should tell them that 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 this is what they want to do. Then what I'd recommend would be probably get an acting coach first, so they can be prepared for their auditions. Mm -hmm. And then I tell them to get an agent or a ma then I get tell them to get an agent and a manager because agents can help get you auditions and managers can handle the contracts for you. 
Yeah, I mean, smart kid that you you know the business so well just because you've been raised in it, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's a tough skill. I mean, a lot of people look at acting and think, oh, I'd like to do that. But there's a tremendous amount of work that goes into it. Um, do you find it difficult to memorize your lines or is that easy for you? It's actually quite easy for me. Um, what it's, it's actually quite easy for me because what I do is I actually draw pictures for every line. Wow. So, so I can see the movie playing in my head instead of just reading, instead of just re reading words on a piece of paper. Wow, so you visualize it and then the words just come out. That's incredible. Never really heard of that one, Chloe. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for being here. Is there any way if people want to get in touch with you? Because I know you've got a lot of fans. How can they reach you out on social media? Well, they can follow me on Instagram at Chloe, dot, at Chloe, at Chloe Perrin dot USA. Mm -hmm. So that's the best way. And they can instant message you that way if they want to, if they like your work and, and all that, right? Yes. That's great. They what can if they want to. Wonderful. I have so enjoyed talking to you. Is there anything else you wanted to add that we didn't that we didn't talk about? Um, not that I know of. <laughs> I just like to say thank you for. I just like to say thank you for watching the interview, everyone. Yeah, you're pretty terrific. I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of comments about you, Chloe. I really, really do. You're a, a very interesting young lady, very unique, um, because you're charming but you're smart as heck. So um, thank you very, oh, very much. You. And uh, say hi to mom. I know she's probably right there too. And your sister. And please, everybody, go see Mary. I mean, it's a little scary. I got, a, I got an opportunity to see it, and I thought, oh, wow. And you are terrific in this film. You really are amazing. Thank you very much. Scared me. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> you scared me, and I thought, my God, how does she do this? But you're a professional. So please go see it. It is in uh, limited... Um, release but um it's out there and you'll find it go see mary and uh some of her other films itsy bitsy um television work there's just so much oh yeah and a recurring role on abc single parents there's so much out there that you're doing so just look her up look up her body of work uh chloe perrin thanks again for being here and uh, you will find our show uh, on YouTube, on Facebook Live, on Instagram. And then for those people who are listening to their podcasts, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Spotify, and honestly, anywhere else you get your podcasts, you'll find us. Thanks for tuning in to Deborah Cobell Live, and we'll see you next time. Bye.